actually pretty sexy. <laughs> but I'm biased. Even if the camera were off, I'd be like super pumped about this stuff. It's exciting. Our entire bed's going into the boat right now. <laughs> There's some guy on our bed. <laughs> so basically, they've just managed to get the insert, our bedroom insert, into the boat. So they actually are going to uh, put one more insert in today. This is the furniture insert for the um, guest cabin. So the starboard forward cabin. Very exciting. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode. You may Come recall on. from I think a couple of weeks ago now that we had a look at the Seawind team putting the furniture inserts into the boat. Hello Nick, nice Hello, of you to join us. <laughs> Having a good old gas. Nick's having a gossip. <laughs> not a gossip, it was catching up on important boat news. You love a gossip, don't you? I am a little old gossip. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Should we go see our boat? Yeah, point is, let's go see our boat. They've put the furniture inserts now and uh, they've all just gone on break, so we've got 15 minutes to have a quick tour without the stuff the noise. Okay. on board. Let's go. Are we good? Yeah. All right, let's get on. Just uh, be careful here. So a question asked by one of our patrons, Sandy Ladd, about the furniture and the inserts and how they are put into the hull and how they are bonded in. So actually, I wasn't just gossiping, I actually went to talk to James and asked... Not just gossiping. Not just gossiping. <laughs> I went to talk to James and said, how are they put in? Are they glassed, are they glued, or are they glued and glassed? And he said it depends on the furniture insert. What he said is that the, because the bulkheads are so structural, and there are like so many layers of glassing on both sides of those bulkheads, there is no structural component to the furniture inserts. They, don't, they form none of the superstructure apart from actually just to give you a space in which to live. So he said that in this case, there are some glass parts that most of them are glued because it doesn't affect the stiffness of the rigidity of the boat. Okay. So you will see that some parts, especially with this main bulkhead here, this little bulkhead, that will be glassed in, but everything else will be glued in. All right, well, let's, yeah. um, let's go and have, have a, a quick look. tour. Right, so let me just walk you through. So this starboard, starboard aft cabin. Again, the engines are going in, I think, are uh, the beginning of next week. So this is the last time they're gonna to get to get all this bit done. There is one further insert to go in and that is gonna go in on Saturday. So it's Thursday today, that's going in in two days time. We will be here to film that. What is that? Is that the... Um, I can't remember which... The, I think it might be the heads. Yes, yeah, the heads. That's the last insert to go yeah. in. So that's being done. So this has all been put in trimmed into place and now you can see that these inserts are being bonded together so there's a bonding line there i'm obviously stood here helm seat moving forward this is galley and now looking over here we've got the corridor between the aft cabin and the fore cabin on starboard also this is where the heads is going to go so the last insert is going to be the starboard side guest heads inserts four aft already fitted We'll go and have a look and see what they've done there. Just follow me forward, Therese. Be careful, the, the water tank is there. So as you can see here, this insert is now complete. So everything is in. It is all being polished and fed and this brown paper and that blue kind of like peelable uh, varnish has been put in and that now means that that is complete. So, so the brown paper is just to protect just, just, Literally just to protect yeah. everything. Yeah. That's done. Let's just move slightly to port. Now that these inserts are in and you've got both port and starboard insert in place, you can see exactly how big this locker is. Now this locker has a divider that you can, I believe, take in and out. I would say that, that locker is six foot by four foot. It's crazy, isn't it? And it's a massive, So massive. we can take the divider in and out so we can create one big locker or two small I think, lockers. I think so, we'll, but we'll yeah. We'll confirm. We will confirm, so there's one big locker there and I mean that's six foot by four foot. Now we can see things that are important I want to show you this week. Our bed is in place, our bed head. So we've got the port side cabin insert in place, bonded in. And also, if you look how the superstructure curves around, and it's important that when we saw this whole furniture insert, like out going from being laminated to coming out of the mold and then trying in last week and now in place, you can see how important that last part is. So it's kind of like ziggity zaggity when you see it like out of the boat, but look how much that forms a bulkhead. Yeah. So that is why refer back 
to the thickness of the foam core yeah. in that part of the, of the furniture insert because that now is structural. And so what you've got, and you can see So clearly, they'll glass that part in, surely. Yes, walk with me and we'll take a walk through. Careful, Wayne. <laughs> you can see we are, you are literally stood in the shower stall. Yeah. And this is where our water maker is going to go. Yes. So water maker goes through there. And then as we walk forward, that this is honestly, it's like slippery whew, and not glassed in. God, it's like walking on ice. So back in the master cabin, a couple of things I want to show you. Firstly, this bulkhead bonded, taped in, right? So that's all in, but this is part of the walk-in wardrobe. So the walk-in wardrobe finishes there. Yep. So this is actually hanging it's space. It's huge, isn't it? It's, it's actually a, massive. It's a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, I know. For my Great. shoe collection. <laughs> <laughs> my little thongs. And then obviously this has all now been fed. Everything that's blue is finished. Okay. And obviously bigger areas that have just been covered in paper where there's not so many curved surfaces. So that's finished. So really, our cabin has been finished. So in the last episode, we showed the team here lowering this insert in, trimmed outside of the mold, inserted, trimmed again, then bonded in, glued in in part, but obviously, as I said, because the stiffness comes from the glassing of those bulkheads. And now everything's been polished and fed. This area is complete. They will then move aft. Central section aft section these will all be bonded in now one thing that is important to notice and just follow me through be careful because it is super slippery one thing is important to note when we showed you the episode before we showed you those kind of semi-circular inserts and they have actually had to go in first so down here in the bilge you can see exactly oops these bits here what i'm stood on here these were already bonded in so hull these inserts then on top of that you've got this so this is actually the third part. We missed the installation of these inserts, the, the base bits, the actual bits that form the, the, the bottom of the bilge. This has gone in. This will then be glassed and taped and glued in. And then when that's all done, engines. And then we move to fit out. So I'm just gonna take a swing through. Oh, starboard side. So let's see what they've done. This is now glued, bonded in. And you can tell when it hasn't been that other side quite wobbly because they're still doing the try-in. This, solid as a rock. Let's just move so quickly. So can you show me, what, so it's been glued in the edges uh, Yeah, there. so this has all been filled. This is fiberglass. Yep. So again, moving forward, this is all in place. Escape hatch or escape covers are now uh, finished. Pass for the camera and I'll just film okay. down here. Let's just take a quick walk forward. So this is the guest cabin. Everything bonded in here. You can see the bonding there. Pretty finished, actually. So that's finished, that's finished. This all, there's absolutely no movement in this at all. Really solid. And again, my workshop. <laughs> Super excited about that. So the workshop all bonded in. You can also see the second bulkhead down there, glassed in. Primary crash bulkhead there, all glassed in. And you can kind of see just there all those layers of glassing. So that's really, really good. Lots and lots of progress this week, my love. Yeah, I know, exciting, right? Yeah. And now 20 seconds for a shameless plug. Do you want behind the scenes content? Do you want early access with no ads? Are you interested in interviews and content that you're not gonna find anywhere else? As well as three WhatsApp groups for you to participate in, and then finally meetups, live events, and crewing opportunities. Join us on Patreon. So we are back again with our friend James, 1370 production manager. James, what's going on this week at the factory? Well, we have quite a bit going on on boat number two, which is your boat, of course. <laughs> We've finished putting in the forward furnitures and we're now working on the back ones or the aft ones. Mm -hmm. And we've already installed the uh, starboard side and the companionway bulkheads in. Uh, so they they glued it in yesterday, but didn't get the taping done. So they're taping that today. Yep. Tomorrow they're working on the port side. And so they're just preparing it. We dry, dry fitted it this morning, but they have some preparation work to do prior to gluing that down. Yep. And then we'll do the bulkhead after that. 
Cool. Um, so that will be all the main furniture structures in yep. uh, by the end of the week. And then uh, from then, the next week, we'll start working on engines, tanks, and some other stuff. So tank hitch, that's the fuel tanks going yep. in. The water tank's already in, I think. Water tank's already in, yep. yes. Engines going in, and that's going to be super interesting because, as James was telling me, off camera, because they're reverse mounted, they've got to spin the drive legs around to remount those in reverse. So that we'll hopefully try and film that. And um, one thing, the, this box on the on the on the long along, what is what is that? Okay, anchor. So this is very similar to what we do on the 1600. So on the 1260, 1160s, they also have an anchor box, but it's a really a catwalk. Yep. So it's relatively easy to install. This is a longer on, so. We have to uh, build all of this into the bottom of the longer on, mm -hmm. and also the anchor bridle will come up through that box and put back to the windless area. Yep. So it's all sort of self stowing, neat and tidy. That's and, what we want. Uh, yeah. We decided that the box was a bit small. Yes. So we just extended the one a bit bigger because we found with the 1600 that having a bit more space in there was nice when you put your hand down there Absolutely. to pull up those bridles and connect yeah. it onto the chain. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it looked good in the model, but when we saw it in real life, we thought, mm, I think this should be yeah. a bit bigger. Dreams and reality. Yeah. And so really, once the furniture's all in and once the inserts are all in and the engines are in, I guess, and I'm not trying to put words into your mouth, is that the end of that kind of like whole process of like initial build and now you go to fit out or just yeah so that's kind of the first step of getting this all those structures in so now we're into the more fit out type cool. stuff you know um, plumbing and electrical sort of pumps and hardware and stuff preparation for we've still got the ceilings to go in yep. the back cabins and the bathroom to do and there's also some wall liners to go on which okay. we haven't done yet so there's a few of those to go but the really big pieces that are quite complex are in that's now. all done yeah so I'm also so assuming, I mean, I, we were filming earlier in the other part of the factory that I can see that a lot of the headliners are now being laminated. Yes. So that's, they've come out off the molds and now they're laminated and actually yeah. complete. So I can see everything speeding up in kind of the way that that part's working. Can I also assume that obviously because you build a lot of other boats, that wiring is going to be pretty straight similar because you're not starting a whole process from scratch you're using a, a tried and tested process or is this going to be another process where you have to feel a lot of it out it's a bit of both yes the system is similar in many respects to our other boats yep we'll pre-do some of the harnessing yep. and then we'll put in find uh well we need to do a bit here and a bit more there and then we'll fine tune that we typically have a harness board up if you go up to the other factory, you'll see this great big long wall with a bunch of pegs in it. Mm -hmm. And they typically run all the wiring through and to build a harness that we then put in the boat. So we're not quite to that stage yet because we're no, really not quite sure some of the routing, how okay. well that will go. And so we will refine that over a couple of boats. It's fairly big job, the wiring. Yeah, I remember talking to you before about this, about moving to a 24 volt system for weight saving and like uh, the whole, everything that's involved in that. So look, super interesting. We will be filming the engine installation as that comes and kind of it's almost at the end of chapter one of the build, which is the big engineering bits. So and now we go on to the fit out. So yeah. thank you, James. Amazing. And we'll be back again soon with another episode. Hope you enjoyed that. Goodbye.